My name is Ted Wilson. I own a small group of radio stations in the Midwest. Well, I'm, I'm one of the owners. My partners, Roger and Ed, they're the business guys. I run our largest station, Radio 1050, in Indianapolis. Radio 1050! Things had been fine for years, but then I started having problems. That's me there, singing the blues. It used to be so easy to rise to the occasion. I used to know where to go, how to use persuasion. Part of my problem was that Radio 1050 wasn't doing too well. From the Radio 1050 News Department, I'm Sandy Todd. President Bush is planning a trip to the Berlin Wall as the last vegetables of cronyism are irrigated. We're number 23! there was a nagging feeling like I'd been missing something. That's Ariel Knight, the new overnight person. I used to be a radio sensation. My show was heard by millions every day. Roger hired her. She's really quite famous in the radio business. Radio and Records Female Air Personality of the Year 1986. Mm-mm. Number one, New York City Afternoon Drive, Power 102. Sorry, honey, I pay absolutely no attention to the radio business. It's less stressed that way. But, like a lot of radio folk, she fell on some hard times. Radio, it's a job that keeps you on the go. Radio, you say hello, and then it's cheerio. Radio. Truth be told, the night I met Ariel, I'm sorry, I... I felt like we knew each other from somewhere before. We sure were a couple of sad sacks. I don't mean to stare, I'm sorry. I, I just feel like I've met you before. And we kind of hit it off. Look at us now, tired of solitaire. It's time to shuffle the deck. But I didn't realize how much until later. I was so busy battling Roger and Ed, who wanted to sell Radio 1050. It's only business. That I nearly missed connecting with the love of my life. Ted, I'm falling for you. I can't commit to a relationship right now. I was thinking about Ariel. A lot. I can feel a smile come across my face. What I didn't know at the time was that Roger had designs on Ariel, too. I've been doing a lot of soul searching lately, and I, I realize I want to settle down. You know, trade the Porsche in for one of those minivans. Or that my dear partner was a philanderer. An attractive woman dangling from my street. Or that Ed and Roger were playing me for a chump. But I want you to agree, no matter what, we sell the station the minute the book comes out. Stupid me. A radio station full of kooky characters. We're guys with big voices and perfect hair. And even crazier clients. Why don't we change that too? For just $2.99 a month, you can drive a new Jeep Cherokee right off in our lot. With an impossible deadline to raise the ratings to save the station. We're gonna be a radio sensation. I'm gonna be a radio inspiration. With even more trouble. The 60s were good to me. That's Melissa. Melissa Jones. I was engaged to her back at the U of M. What was she doing at the station? First me, and now my sister. I don't think so, Mr. Theodore Wojciechowski. Wouldn't you know it, I was in love with Melissa's younger sister, Susan Ariel Jones. Please listen to me, it's not what you think. Well, Ariel didn't know what a cad Roger was. And was she mad at me? I won't be seeing you again because I don't think you have what it takes to commit to anything. So, Ariel agreed to fly to Las Vegas with Roger. What is it about most men that they just don't know what they want? To get married. About that engagement? Melissa's mother came to me the night before our wedding with some disturbing news. That's her. Anyway, that's pretty much the story of Radio the Musical. What's that? Well, the radio personality could play it safe as the narrator. 
and you think that each of those lights may be someone listening to you. Or, if so inclined, he or she could tackle one of the acting parts. Maybe the villain Roger Tanner. Roger Tanner. The Roger and Roger Wilco. Or the goofy Stan Shannon. This is Stan Shannon saying, see you tomorrow evening, Indiana. Ariel Knight's up next on... The old 1050. Or the 60s throwback, Melissa Jones. I got a master's in PhD. Organic philosophy. And for you tech guys, we'll be shooting in high def with 5.1 surround sound. Disappears. There are angels everywhere. And our family friendly slogan. Ah, oh, come on, man. You gotta be joking. It's only business. We're here to make money. And I see the world. This is Ted Wilson saying you will love the most exciting promotion for radio ever. (laughs) And it could mean a lot of NTR or funding for your charity. Not to mention the coolness factor of becoming a movie star. Radio the Musical. Shannon.